Saying, while your seconds are rubbing you down, boys, we'll go the next round to thank Milt Hernandez and Ralph Ravenberg at 661 for that swell letter. And roll a couple more sixes for a howdy to Jim Dunnington at 602. The command performance listeners at 687. And all the men of that airport group uh, at 635. And especially for Corporal Tony at uh, 958. And the Wildcat Social Club around the world. Say, for you guys who kiss Kiska with those blockbusters and for Seaman Fred Newman up in Newfoundland, Command Performance proudly presents a glamour girl. <sighs> ah, but this one's a little different. Like a good wine, she's aged a little. <laughs> ah, 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 not enough to hurt. Just enough to make her grateful. <laughs> yes, sir? That first lady of the Hollywood news front, that great actress who is number one on the hat parade, Hedda Hopper. Let's get her... <laughs> Uh, Hedda, Hedda, what is that on your head? Why, it's just one of my hats. The general motive is of a Christmas tree. How do you like it? Well, uh, the tree's all right, but the, the limbs are in bad shape. <laughs> is that so? Well, let me tell you something, tall, blonde, and southern pride. <laughs> I'll have you know I was a glamour girl once. This century? <laughs> yes, this century. In fact, I used to be a photographer's model. You don't say. Yes, when I was an infant, I used to pose for those talcum powder ads. <laughs> but I finally gave it up. Why? Well, I wanted to get my face in the picture, too. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't I cute in those days? I was barefoot all over. <laughs> But, Kay, getting back to these modern glamour girls, take this Lana Turner dame. What's she got on me? Hedda, it isn't what she's got on you. It's what she's got on her that you haven't got on you. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get on with our show, Hedda. I know you're patriotic and want to entertain the boys. In fact, you were probably patriotic in the last two wars. <laughs> yes, and what was good enough for the fathers is good enough for the sons. Well, but Hedda, you know, this is 1943 The boys now prefer a little uh, younger type Oh, please, Kay I'll have you know that three very charming men proposed to me And I turned them all down Harry, Joe, and Grant Poor fellows Oh, they were so disappointed Harry took arsenic and Joe took cyanide What about Grant? He took Richmond <laughs> What am I saying? <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. You see what I mean, Hedda? That's it. Oh, what's the difference? As a musician, you should know that a few years, one way or the other, don't count. What do you mean? Well, you can still get a lot of good tunes out of an old accordion if you squeeze it right. <laughs> good night, Kay. Good night, fellas. Good night, Hedda. Thanks a lot, Hedda Hopper. Well, gang, a lot of you in the AEF have asked command performers to salute the Russian bear. And a lot of you terrific guys in the United States Merchant Marine who sailed through Hell's Corridor under the midnight sun, you too have asked this big show of yours for a little of that famous Russian music. So, it's Russia and America together. As Rolina Zarova, lovely Russian star of radio and pictures, joins the Balalaika Gypsy Band and the whole orchestra in a 1943 arrangement of Dark Eye.
Thank you so much, 